Hello, how are you doing today? I firstly would like to say thank you to those who participated in my game. Last week I, I shared 10 facts about me uh, and encouraged you to find one that is not true. I um, received many replies and it was interesting to read them. Today I would like to uh, tell you a little bit more about those facts to share who's the winner. And um, I'll start right now. So fact number one. I learned to play guitar in five lessons. This is true. Um, my mom, when I was at school, heard an ad on the radio that said, I will teach your child to play guitar in just five lessons. Uh, my mom was intrigued and she called the musician and invited to uh, give me those lessons. And uh, Every lesson was huge, lots of information, and uh, sometimes to do homework, it would take me like two months to call back to the teacher. Uh, so the fact is that those five lessons um, lasted like for two years or so. <laughs> But, as you see, I can play the guitar. Uh, fact number two. I played as a drummer in a girl's band. That is true. I, uh, the funny thing is that I was uh, singing in a rock band. I was a lead singer. And uh, we were practicing in a rock laboratory. It's a studio uh, which united all the young kids. Um, and we had a teacher, a leader of that studio. And he, I shared with him that I wanted to learn to play drums. I really was fascinated and excited about the drum set. <laughs> they had and he said uh, you know what everyone should do what they're supposed to do you are a singer so stick to that and stay away from the drum set and I thought like right okay so I found the way around I uh, approached a drummer um, just one of the kids musicians um, and I knew that he had um, access to those drums after hours and I asked him to teach me secretly. So I was taking those lessons secretly. The teacher didn't know anything till I just came and started playing the drums one day. <laughs> and soon I joined their um, girls band as a drummer and spent one year playing with them. Next fact. Uh, I have a law diploma. This is true and this is not something I am very proud of. Uh, why? Because after one year uh, in the university I realized that this was not my thing and I really wanted to pursue a music career and uh, I was not happy but I decided to finish it just because I started and I think it wasn't very smart and I should have listened to my inner voice instead of other people's opinion that law degree it's good it's money it's stability and music should be just a hobby so what happened when i finished uh, university i haven't worked a single day i just took my bags and i left 
uh, to a different city and uh, I enrolled into a music school. And that's the next uh, fact that I enrolled in music school when I was 24 and was sitting with 10 years old kids at one desk. That is true. Um, as soon as I finished university, I decided to um, educate myself in music, even though I've already been uh, working as a singer for years, like all those years in the university. Um, next one, once I had green hair, that is also true. And that was an accident. I didn't meant to um, color my hair green. I think I wanted to uh, make black color, but something happened and it didn't work that way. And I ended up um, with a really weird color for some time. Um, and I never did that to myself again. Next one, um, number five, I don't drink alcohol or coffee. This is true, but some people might be surprised because I. it's been about 10 months since I said no to coffee and alcohol. I just um, felt like I don't need it in my life. And I'm very confident that... Um, it's gonna stay like that. I also quit eating meat, except fish, at the same time. Um, next, I played on one stage with heavy metal bands, that is true. Uh, when I was 18, I had my first rock band and we played um, covers, like uh, the cranberries, no doubt, uh, garbage and that sort of music. For some reason, venues with um, venues that had all these metal bands liked inviting us to join their concert. Next, number seven. Uh, that is not true. Number seven is I have a cookery diploma. Uh, even though I like um, making crepes and bake sometimes, I'm not a fan of cooking actually and stick to a quick, convenient recipe. Still delicious. Um, but that was the one that was not true. And... Um, I have two more. Number nine, I lived and worked as a singer in Egypt. That is true. And I had lots of replies that uh, it was not. <laughs> I only lived there for four months, but those were unforgettable because I lived and worked there. I lived in a just common building where all the families, local families live. I uh, used to take a bus to work and I worked on a, in a resort as a singer. And uh, it was the first country uh, where I traveled uh, outside Russia. And uh, that was something because this country is um, very different it has a very um, vivid culture and there were lots of things new to me and i have a wonderful time i i would work two hours and then had all well, the rest of the day for myself spending time on the beach and um, traveling a little bit and having having a good time uh, and the last one, I have a hairdressing diploma, and this is true. In fact, I uh, had my first course when I was still in high school, and I loved it. 
I loved it. I think it was very creative and I was communicating with people and um, and you know bringing my creativity just in a different way and I went and I uh, finished another course later and studied for a whole year in Moscow as a hairdresser stylist and uh, but it wasn't it never was a uh, number one job for me it, it was like a more like a freelance whenever I had time or whenever I ran out of money I would um, uh, just go and say like, hey it wants haircut and usually it were places where students live or where I lived with the students um, and um, I loved it but I had to make a choice one day and I made it um, in uh, uh, what is the word I made it in favor of music yes so that's all that's all the facts and now I'm going to tell you who the winners are so the first person who emailed me the correct answer was Robert Butler congratulations you will receive this lovely card from me and uh, I will sign it and I will write a message and I will also send you my latest single and the Russian version of it. That's my little reward and surprise. And I decided to have another winner because there was another person who was the firstest first person who um, commented with uh, the correct answer but she replied in on Facebook in the comments but I know that she is also one of my subscribers so I decided to um, reward Lina Krimichnaya yes so congratulations um, for being a winner and uh, same, I will send you my card, my new cards, uh, with a message and my songs, my latest single. And those who would like to have my single downloaded, there's an opportunity uh, just for donation of absolutely any donation. Uh, you can download it on my crowdfunding campaign website. Um, uh, you just go to my page and the pinned top uh, post will be about the crowdfunding campaign so anyone who donates any amount will receive my latest single both versions English and Russian so here you go that was all Thank you very much. And till the next game. Ho, ho, ho. Have a great day.